Hey guys, something I believe is certainly worth mentioning and pointing out. After a series of laws passed by King Herod of the Iron Throne, limiting the power of his vassals, of his vassal, the High Septum in the realm. One of the laws prohibits the faith from arming, and so the faith militant, comprising, uh, comprising of the warrior sons and poor fellows, has been disbanded. I've lowered the faith authority to low, finally. It took me years to get this into effect, but it's finally been voted on and done. So yeah, I thought that was definitely worth pointing out. I may even make it minimum, so that the faith is just, yeah, like choking the life out of the faith of the seven, trying to get the Valyrian faith installed, kind of thing. But uh, we shall see, I suppose. The king is dead. Long live the king. The young dragon died at the age of 47. Not so young at the end of things. But anyway, he died of a per after a period of illness and his son, Oris, is taking over the Iron Throne. Which is good. He got his father's dragon egg. He's got Silverwing as his dragon, which isn't the greatest dragon in the world, but either way. Vagar's sort of made a lair somewhere. He will no doubt be nabbed by some member of the Targaryen family. But uh, he's over. He's overall not too bad. He's stressed. He's a skilled fighter, skilled commander, trusting, diligent, chaste, generous. He has got vicious rumors. General opinion minus ten and minus ten for that, which is a bit annoying. But uh, all the same, he's got a son who's named after his father, so he'll be the second. But yeah, uh, that's it basically. My vassals don't hate me or anything. The Starks aren't exactly happy with me, but apart from the fact that we grew up together with the uh, Order of the North, I grew up together with him as well. Oris does have. I mean, he's friends with. Uh... Yeah, he's friends with the Lord Paramount of the Reach. His uncle. He's friends with the heir to the Reach, his cousin, friends with his sister. He's friends with the Lord Paramount of the Iron Isles and friends with his cousin as well. His cousin, by the way, is taking Blackwing. You may say, wait a minute, didn't the Baratheon chick take Blackwing? Again, game crashing constantly. I have to reload and then certain things end up happening a little bit different. So rather than the Baratheon girl getting Blackwing, this bitch nicked him. Which is annoying, but there you go. Anyway, we'll uh, skip ahead to anything a bit more. Interesting, I suppose. Hey guys, uh, my cousin has taken control of Vega. It's a bit of a downside to everyone being high Valerian and Valerian faith. Anyone can just grab our dragons. <laughs> bit of annoying, but there you go. We basically need to keep all the dragon riders happy and, uh, you know, content with us. So I think we'll marry my youngest sister off to him and keep that dragon rider happy. Since he kind of hates me right now. <laughs> yeah, we got here. Pop ups, pop ups everywhere. And too much shit to click. I'm already tutoring Sodagar Chick and this dumbass. What do you want? I imagine to marry my final sister. Uh, given the fact that you are failing to get any male heirs, I think we will send. Yeah, that gives me an alliance with Dawn as well. So yeah, we'll send off my last sister, uh, Daenerys, off to Dawn to wed him. Hmm. No other to wed other than his own sister, which I don't particularly want to do. Possibly one of the solar guards or the sunglasses or somebody. Maybe. We'll see. We'll do it in a minute. We do have our coronation to do first. Which will be up in a second, in theory. So I shouldn't have to stop recording to put it in. Hmm. 
I'll tell you something, though. You are being tutored by... Yeah, you are. By my uncle. I hit the microphone. <laughs> my bad. My daughter's a lunatic. Which isn't great. She's being taught at court. Uh, I could send my daughter off with the Lord Paramount. Yeah, I'll send, him off, send her off to the Riverlands to make him like me more. Since we do have a deposed King Thingamajig with High Septon being rather pissy with me right now. So, uh, kind of want to make sure that all the Lord Paramounts at least like me. A deal. Which doesn't remind me to name new Lords of the Council. We'll train, get my uncle to train troops in King's Landing. The Master of Coin can be the Lord of the North, who I'll give an honorary title of Master of Hunt. At least makes him like me a bit more. Name you as my Master of Whisperers, which makes you like me more. Maester is fine as he is. My Storm Singer isn't great, but we'll look into that in a moment. Hmm. Yeah, everyone, uh, uh, Oris isn't in too bad of a situation, really, right now. As long as we keep an eye on the other Dragon Riders and make sure that all of our family sticks together and is loyal to each other, there won't be too much of an issue, hopefully. I hope, anyway. Prestige of 6,000. I kind of want to aim for that, because I guess you'd plus 25 with everybody. Crowning of the King, in the name of the gods, I, King Ross of the House Targaryen, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the gods that I will be a protector and defender of the realm and always useful to it, however many, in so far that I am supposed to divine assistance according to my knowledge and ability. It's very formal, this. <laughs> Today I am crowned by Aemon and formally receive the title of King of the Andals and Renoir, the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. This will strengthen my rule significantly, and I get 100 prestige. Which is nice. Like I say, most of my vassals like me somewhat. Yeah, pretty much all of the Lord Paramounts are still in the Crown Loyalists, which is led by my uncle. It's only the High Septon who's bitchy with me, <laughs> which is understandable since we're kind of uprooting his religion very, very slowly. But anyway, uh, once again, and like always, we will stop recording and jump ahead to anything interesting that happens. I'm assuming that Oris' rule will be relatively peaceful. Since his father rule was peaceful, the realm is sort of stable right now. Most of the lords are... I mean, my half-brother controls uh, the Iron Isles in a grip. I mean, I've got allies of the Iron Isles, the Lord Paramount of the Reach, Lord Paramount of the Stormlands, Lord Paramount of the West, Lord Paramount of Dawn. All of them are my allies. So... Pretty much we're secure. I think Oros' realm is going to be another one of majority peace kind of thing. You know, not very interesting, to be honest. In other words, more hours of me doing absolutely fucking nothing. But for you guys, it'll be about two seconds. <laughs> hey guys, an event worth noting. My uncle, Param uh, Lord Paramount Lauren Targaryen, has died. He was known as Lauren the Just and was basically the most badass Targaryen to date, other than Aegon and the Conqueror himself. I mean, arguably even better, he survived longer and uh, controlled one of the biggest kingdoms in the Reach, and uh, Westeros, which is the Reach. <clears throat> but yes, my uncle has passed. It seems that his son died under suspicious circumstances, and my nephew is now Lord Paramount of the Reach, which is fine. 
Uh, I was his, I was his uh, mentor anyway, and he's content, pretty good. And he's married to my daughter, so despite the fact that my daughter's a bit uh, iffy. Uh, let's keep you up to date. I mean, my sister Vesenia was executed by her own husband. As you can see here, uh, sort of strained relations with her and them. My other sister and my friend, who was my friend, was executed by her... Uh, <laughs> by her fucking husband as well. And she di he died under suspicious circumstances. I'm going to say that the king probably had something to do with it. We didn't, but law-wise, he killed my sister who was close to the king and her brother, so... He probably had something to do with that. I will, I've just my headcanon anyway. But uh, yeah, no matter that or not, I really hate the AI because my air has a seduction focus. And we all know how dodgy as hell the AI is with the seduction focus. So my son and heir already has two bastard daughters. And he's like fucking two lowborn chicks and one of them is married to a, yeah, this guy. Not the Lord of Thing, but it's from a different branch of the family. But yeah. And he's also married to this girl as well. Which is a bit better. But his main wife is my sister, Princess Daenerys. This is what happens when we give the AI control of things. But he'd get really pissy with me if I didn't give him Dragonstone. So I guess, you know, what are we going to do? But at any rate, we've got Dark Sister, and it's uh, by the laws of inheritance, we've received it, and I'm not sure who we're going to give it to. There's no one really worthy right now, I don't believe. The Iron Isles are in the hands of my other nephew, Prince Regil, who we're going to tutor, actually. Mm. That does remind me, though. Um, how Lauren died? He died of depression shortly after his wife died. He turned to drink, was depressed, and uh, just went at the age of 57. He lived a long life, and he was a badass. And he left a lot of heirs and bloodlines to continue his name, so... You know, I have lots of cousins and nephews and bollocks in the reach. So yeah, um... That's about it. My half-brother, however, my other uncle, has no kids yet at all. So he's the Baratheon girl is not putting out. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it, really. There's nothing else right now. Uh, his rule seems to be relatively short. Although we have got honourable and just. He's a good ruler. And I'm focusing on uh, rulership as well, which is getting me decent stuff. I'm making a lot of money every turn. I'm slowly building up King's Landing to make it even more badass than it is. And we're trying to spread the uh, faith as quickly as possible. I'm also trying to get lower than to minimum faith authority, which is... Turning out to be a bit of a pain in the ass to get. But, uh... I don't think that's going to happen in this rule. But, we'll see. Anyway, moving on to something interesting. Which would either be a war, or probably Oris's death. And continuation of his son, who's going to be a bit more of a bitch to control. Which I'm actually looking forward to, because quite frankly, the series has been boring thus far. Uh, for quite a bit now, I've done fuck all. Our first real challenge in a while, although I wouldn't really call it a challenge, basically the entire of Westeros against this one dumbass, who calls himself a genius, but uh, <laughs> attacks me with a four-year-old dragon, although his wife, who is my friend and has been my friend for so quite some time, who's my cousin, she has Blackwing, who is considerably powerful. Not quite as powerful as my dragon, though. Silverwing is much better. And I have every single Lord Paramount on my side. As you can see. Excellent, 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 excellent. Basically the entire of Westeros against one stupid little dumbass who's going to get his fucking ass kicked. In fact, I'm not even sure where the hell he is. He's all the way over in the Northern Valeria. Okay, so he's buggered off over there with his dragon in order to rally the troops. Which won't, hopefully, go very well for him. Oblivion, buddy old pal. My uncle can take command of that for a moment. Uh, let's go Hand of the King. Who do we give that to? I will give that to 
you for now, I suppose. Yeah, might as well. Master of Laws, I'll just give it to you so that you like me a bit more. All these guys are basically going to get fired later anyway, but... Yeah, with keeping that in mind, it's probably not a great idea for me to hand out too much stuff. But I would like... Yeah, still, I've still got 88k. Where the hell did they grab some of that region that isn't supposed to be theirs? Bloody river lords. What the hell are you up to? The Vale is with me as well, but they've for some reason just directly under my control rather than not. But anyway, let's raise the banners. Rally the majority of our forces at King's Landing to prepare for the attack. Get the prince out of Dragonstone. Bring those 44k troops down to Darry. Be interesting to see where he lands exactly, but he's still over there for now. Some of the Reach is refusing to take up arms. Pricks that they are. Although, that is mainly because in the Reach, my nephew's a bit of a prick. <laughs> he's actually executed his own brother and then handed out... Actually, his own brother is one of the guys who's uh, rising up against me. To be honest. And he's heir to that host. <laughs> so yeah, he's fighting against his own fucking brother right now. But they'll land eventually, somewhere. We'll clash with them and hopefully kick their ass. Here they are. They're about to land at Rosbury. Alright. I'm going to take the prince over here. And the king will command these guys. Actually, we'll leave the prince. He'll land at the docks and go there to assist. There's the newest member of the king's guard here, by the way. I want you guys to go get in those ships. Now, is my idiotic friend in this army? Nah, he's still hiding way over there. Please select the fucking army. Oh, crush those guys with very little effort. Move back to King's Landing immediately. Move these guys down to the Blackwater. Now, because the AI is very stupid, what it should do is just constantly send troops to the Crown Islands to get its arts kicked. Hmm, yeah, if you're happy staying there, game, I'm happy with you staying there. Queen to command an army. She does have a dragon, though. What queen does my wife have? A uh, dragon does my wife have, yeah. Him. Maybe worth. After listening to the advice of Sir and Darren of Contopus, I'm no longer able to reign as Lord Paramount. 
Shit. He was murdered by the Lord of Sunderland and Aaron. And it's now passed to... <laughs> it's now passed to the woman Aaron who is married to the Lord of the North. And that's going to pass to him who's passed to the... The Tullys are going to inherit the North, the Vale. Fuck me. The Tullys are going to be right bastards to keep under control, aren't they? Unless he has a son pretty fucking soon. No, no, they're not going to inherit the North. But they will inherit the fucking Vale. That's not great. Well, the Vale Lords will probably rise up and try to overthrow him and stop that from happening. We'll see what goes on there. Hey, I got troops at Old Town under the high set. Weird. But there you go. I won't complain. Go join up with the guys in the Crown Lands. So I think it, I think it's just the... Uh, hey, we completed the final... Expansion of the Red Keep. Yep, that is the final upgrade. Huge Crown Lander Fortress. And here comes the second wave of morons. Is my moron on this ship? Or he is in the black water. So this will be the moment of truth. Uh, I'm going to let my wife command that so that we have three dragons inside of this. Just in case he's brought... Yeah, he has. He has brought his wife, my cousin... And she'll have Blackwind, which is a formidable dragon. King's Guard will command those. Basically, I've got the King's Guard commanding 30k or so troops up there, which will block off the idiots from Stokeworth. These guys are coming over the 3rd of December. Flying high above the armies, the Dragon Bail. There, the Dragon Rider Bail leads a dive against you and your allies. Later on, as I struggle to compete with your dragon's relentless attacks, several times almost fallen from the sky, and now they're at your mercy, and you dive in for the kill. Dracaris. Blackwing and its rider are left weakened and vulnerable. Dracaris doesn't hesitate at finishing them off. That's my wife's dragon. Drives in, crashing into them at great speed. They are ripped apart and eventually crashing to the ground and left dazed. Blackwing is now a lifeless corpse. Fire and blood. And its rider has been imprisoned. Yeah, a fierce duel broke out between Lady Durant Targaryen over the skies. That's my cousin, who's actually my friend. The dragons tore at each other, but my wife's dragon and its rider merged victorious. And now turns over Thingamajig as your prisoner. Yeah, my wife turns over my cousin as her prisoner. Baylor and his allies struggle to compete with dragons relentless attacks several times, yada yada yada. I pick off my idiotic kinsman's sort of cousins, whatever the fuck he is to me. I think he's just, yeah, it's my kinsman, but he's not anything else. You and Silverwing dive headlong into them, sending them into the ground, crashing once the dragon tears them apart. They are left dazed with Thingamajig's lifeless corpse sprawled out on the ground. Fire and blood. His dragon dies. There is... Ooh, there is a chance that I could be wounded, but not... 1% chance of crippled. And Silverwing could be wounded a little, but it looks like we've basically beaten the shit out of his dragon. His dragon is weak. It was Blackwing that I was worried about. And Blackwind's just been annihilated, so... Fire and blood. 
Whilst doing battle when Rosberry Silverwing has unfortunately been wounded. Despite this, he will be able to continue fighting. Yeah, he's a bit wounded, but he's hanging in there. And now the army's left leaderless. Yep, the duel is over and the enemy dragons have been finally been cast down. The armies lose heart to the sight of the spectacle. And you can now return your attention to them. Of which we shall burn them to crisp. Patriots and the idiots are sent running. We'll quickly quick save, just because we don't want the game to crash after all that dueling. But yes, we annihilated them, basically. Uh, Aurus will go off. I'll send the King's Guard back to the capital with most of the men. While the king chases down the remnants of these idiots. I'm glad I brought my wife. She held her own big time. Eh, we become a brilliant commander of that. Excellent. But that is the end of the war. Now we just have to decide what to do with the prisoners. Like I said, my cousin is actually my friend. And she's still my friend, despite having me, uh... She's married to her child. I suppose we'll send him to the Night's Watch. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. Well, out of this entire conflict, what we've succeeded in doing is losing two dragons. Great. Basically. <laughs> Just fucking brilliant. This is all claim on the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. Yep. It loses all claim to the throne. And now we've got these idiots imprisoned. And what we'll do... We'll banish the twat to the black... To the, uh... To take the black at the Night's Watch. And we'll release her from prison, just because look, she is my friend. One of the few friends that Oris has left in the world, since most of his friends have passed away now. So we're going to le release her from prison and be merciful. Merciful, yeah, that's a word. <laughs> I was wondering, yeah. She can't quite forgive me for that, but it's never been that kind of relationship, I don't think. <laughs> Plus, she is kind of my cousin, and I've been trying as much as the game wants me to do otherwise to avoid the whole incesty thing. But yes, we've uh, we released my cousin since we were friends once, and we still kind of are, and we let her bugger off. She was only following her son slash husband. <laughs> and that prick is sent off to the watch. But that's that conflict dealt with. Nice and simple. My wife did well. Which I was surprised with, to be honest. Her dragon just kicked ass. I mean, Silverwing did as well. Silverwing completely tore through the, uh, the dragon that the dumbass had. But he shall forever, from now on, be just be known as the dumbass. Because <laughs> that is his name. But yes, Westeros returns to peace. And, uh... What the hell do you guys want? You got a wildling in the Riverlands asking me to do things. Go away. Dumbass. Too many dumbasses. And not enough time. But yes, we'll, uh... Westeros returns to peace. Since we've dealt with those dumbasses, we've lost two dragons, unfortunately, but they were two pitiful dragons and one rebellious relative of ours. But uh, yes, we'll skip ahead to some interesting stuff again. 
Hey guys, King Oris is dead, and his son, King Arian, I'm pretty sure it's Arian, um, someone's bound to have corrected me by now in the comments if it isn't, but I've already recorded it all, so yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. But I'm going with Arian. 